Hi, Professor Peter Peregrin, and I'll be leading you through quantitative analysis in anthropology. I want to begin talking a little bit about the course, what you can expect, what we're going to be doing in here. But to begin with, I want to tell you that this is not a math course. I know many students of anthropology are math phobic. They maybe didn't do so well in math or didn't like it. And this is not a course you've got to worry about in those terms. We are going to be doing almost no calculation in here. There will be a few formulas here and there that we'll look at, but we're going to be looking at them more conceptually than in terms of calculations. So, reiterate, not a math course, a course that is going to be about conceptual issues. We want to understand statistics and what they mean, not how to calculate them. The computer is going to do all the calculations for us. We want to come to understand what the output of that computer tells us, what these statistics mean. So we're going to be focusing on concepts, not the math. I personally find statistics to be a very visual kind of analysis. And I am going to focus on the visual aspects of statistics quite a bit in here because I think that they're very useful to understand. and. Those visuals convey huge amounts of information very quickly. It said a picture is worth a thousand words, the same way I think a chart is worth a thousand statistics. So we are going to be taking a visual uh, approach in this course. And finally, this course is going to be very hands-on. This is intended to be a practical course, one that gives you practical skills that you can use in school and in your future careers. So there will be a lot of hands-on activities that we'll be doing during the course of this course. Okay, I have a couple of goals for you and I hope that this is what we'll achieve over the next few weeks as you proceed through the course. First, I would like you to understand by the end of the course and be able to apply the basic statistics that are used in anthropology. Statistics is a vast field. It goes well beyond anything I know. And it's highly discipline specific. Anthropology is in a bit of a unique situation in that, as we'll find out as we go through the course, a lot of the very basic statistics that are used even today were invented by anthropologists or by people looking at anthropological kinds of problems. So those basic statistics are really core to anthropology, the history of anthropology, but also the long practice of anthropology. That's what we're going to be learning, but in doing that we learn basic statistics. Um, the reason that I want you to learn those, or you should want to learn them, is so that you can understand the statistical analyses you are going to read in books and articles during your career as an anthropologist, either as an undergraduate, if you go into grad school, or as a professional. Statistics are a form of their own language. As you read through an article, you've learned very well in your uh, education how to read the words. The charts, the numbers, of statistics are really a new language for you to learn. And we're going to learn that in here. And that's why I say this is a conceptual approach. You're learning the language. You're not learning the syntax, the grammar, all those things that we might think of as the calculations. You're going to learn how to read statistical analyses. And you'll learn, I hope, how to use those analyses or employ them in your own research. Um, that, that you can ask a question and you can use statistics to answer that question or to assist in answering that question. Okay, the course is organized into 10 topics. Each of those topics has um, elements to it that you will need to work through. What we're doing right now is a video lesson for each topic, there will be 
one or more, typically more than one, video lessons that will introduce you to the basic concepts uh, that, are, that are the focus of the topic. There are also going to be readings from your textbook and exercises from your textbook that you'll be expected to do. Some of those readings can be quite difficult. I urge you to, to spend time going through them. The textbook provides the information you need. It sometimes is very hard to get the information out of it. There's lots of new terms. There's, because it's partly written in math, there are some new ways of reading that you'll need to develop. Take the time and effort to do that. It will be very rewarding for you. And if you do that, I think you'll find the exercises are quite easy. And the next piece, the exercises using the statistical package R are going to also be easy. We'll talk about R in the next lesson. R is a statistical program that's used very widely in the sciences. We're going to use it in this class to produce statistical analyses for us to look at, to examine, to criticize, to explore, and to come to understand how these statistics work. There's also for each topic at least one hands-on sort of project. And some of those projects are pretty simple and basic. Some of them are going to take some time and are more complex. Uh, but I think all of them you'll enjoy. They give you an opportunity to really engage with statistics and to do some anthropology. Okay. Given all that, you need to think a little bit about workload and this is a self-paced course. Uh, the 10 topics you are expected to work through on your own, on your own time. So maintaining workload is really important and it's a good lesson to learn. Expect to spend 10 to 15 hours on each topic. Now that includes watching the lessons, reading the book, doing the exercises, and doing the R exercises, but even so, that's a lot of time. If you're taking longer to read the book, it's harder for you to do the exercises, you're going to have to add to that. And I want to point out that some of the projects are pretty long. So I would suggest each topic is probably going to be in the area of 15 hours for you. So, plan accordingly. Today, sit down, make a schedule by which you can work through a topic about each week. If you're not able to do that, you're going to very quickly fall behind. The topics build upon one another. And you need to go through each one, complete it, and understand the material in it to move on to the next one successfully and to get through the course successfully. So, make a schedule, stick to it. That's a key to success in this course. All right, that's all for now. In the next uh, video, I'm going to show you how to download and install, install the statistics package R, and I'll see you then.